Today we're going to have a quick look at um, using the Get Symbols Get Option Chain to download an option chain and to print out the implied volatility chart from the said chain. Uh, okay, first we'll um, load QuantMod and Tidyverse because I'm going to plot the chart in ggplot. Um, so we'll start right away with um, get option chain we'll just run it as you can see um, it's very similar to get get symbols in quant mod you put the name of the symbol in quotes and that is the expiration date of the chain you want. If you leave that out, it will get every expiration. And for things like IWM and SPY, which are ETFs, you'll get hundreds, uh, probably five, th two, two to three hundred. Uh, we don't want that. I mean, even for this one, I think there's 60 or 90. Just one, one quote itself. Anyway, we can look at the uh, resulting output. That is the call strikes. You get a nice, it gives you really good information. It gives you the strike, the last price, the change, the last change in price. Uh, today I'm doing this on a Monday. The market hasn't opened yet. Uh, I'm in Australia. The market won't open for a while yet. The ask and the volume, that's the volume at the last trade. The open interest, the last trade, the last trade. Um, and the IV, that's what we're after for the next part and whether it's in the money or not. So it gives you all the information you really need. And of course you can see it goes down for quite a way. Anyway, we'll go up and we'll... The one I'm looking at is puts because I'm selling puts because it's a bull market. Um, and... Uh, I want to see the um, implied volatility curve to hit the sweet spot for selling. There's the puts with the same information. So we'll go down to, uh, we'll do that again because in order to put it in a um, ggplot chart, I have to put it into a variable, um, combine the variables with cbind and then give that a name because of the nature of the way you chart with um, ggplot. It's not, you don't have to do as much work if you just do a simple plot chart. Um, uh, the ggplot chart for this particular day doesn't look so great. Um, but uh, it did look okay the other day when I first did it. But anyway, we'll soldier on. It changes according to the strikes and everything. Oops, we'll go up and we'll run. Run current chunk. Oh, yep, it's run. There's no output from that, so we'll move down. Next, we convert to Tibble. We'll run the current chunk again. Oops, uh, convert to tip. Oh, we've come down to the plot. The plot's already there, so I've given up the plot with the GG plot. And we'll run selected lines, run selected chunk. And we get the plot. You can see there's a low S line fitted through. And, um, yeah, it's a typical smirk or smile, half of it. Um, because the in the money options, the way in the money options, have smoothed out to be just a bit above zero. There's no actual turn up. We don't go that far into the future. Um, so that's a smile. I'm about, uh, I think, somewhere around here 
around the 25 mark, I think. No, maybe. Yeah, I'm about 207, I think. 207, 208. So, yeah, about the 25% implied volatility. Uh, it's not a bad place to be. It has a delta there of about, um, I think... 20% and it's dropping with the um, theta every day anyway that's that so um, yeah I just show you the code it's not very difficult stop the screen because I'm having trouble with the R mark down at the moment if I ever get it happening I'll put this code up on R pubs Better go down to the table. Okay, and up here, the get option chain. Okay, well, thanks for that. We'll sign off now.